ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड लय प्रक्रिया लय प्रक्रिया मी एंड देर आर डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ लय प्रक्रिया अंडर द सेम हेडिंग एंड लय मीन्स एब्जॉर्बशन ऑफ वन इन टू द इफेक्ट इन टू द कॉज एंड फॉर धिस the air the effect of air on the earth when we hold on to the breath and with that we work without moving our attention away from the breath the breath takes away the 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 quality of smell from the earth element and the moment smell from the earth is taken away the earth element collapses back into the water element then the air takes away the quality or the essence of taste from the water and the water collapses back into the fire element then the akash tatva or the darkness takes away the color quality of the fire and the fire collapses back into its source which is the air and air the feeling is touch the quality is touch when that is taken away by the akash tatva it collapses back into the ether or the space <coughs> space is the void the nothingness the emptiness it collapses by the effect of time Uh, this whole thing is happening because of time and this is how everything that has come into existence is going back into non existence this non existence or this space then collapses back into the ahankar that is its source and when it does that simultaneously the space goes back to tamasik ahankar the senses they go back to the rajasik ahankar and the mana buddhi chitta or mana the mind goes back to the satvik ahankar these ahankars they go back to the mahat tatva and mahat tatva goes back collapses back into the brahma brahma ji the creator and the creator collapses back into the total unmanifest and this way if you take the return journey that is how the creation has come about
so the earth element is told to be from the toenail to the thighs that is the earth element the water element is from the thighs to the navel the fire element is from the navel to the to the heart anahat chakra from the heart to the third eye is the air element and beyond the third eye is the space element so when we are doing our sadhana and if our attention is on the breath the prakriya that i just explained slowly slowly slow as we go ahead and and we become focused on the breath the identification with the body starts withdrawing itself from the toe onwards all the way to the head and then the other parts where the emptiness collapses into the tamasic ahankar senses into the rajasik and mind into the satvik and so on that happens on the when you are totally undisturbed by the body not even body but even by the breath then that journey begins so in this manner yes sit alertly merely observing the breath there is nothing we can do to absorb the air so the earth into the water water into the fire and so on it has to happen and how it happens is when we are exclusively at one meant with the breath not contemplating on anything else not allowing ourselves to be distracted by anything else and in case some distraction does come about without any commentary in your mind come back to the breath come back to the breath again and again and again and the breath also initially it is deep slowly as we settle in as we become focused the breath will also become shallow initially the breath goes into the abdomen then as it matures it goes only to the chest further it goes only up to the throat then further it goes only up to the nostrils and comes out then the impact of the breath on the body to shake it from inside is reduced body becomes still and the breath also becomes almost still remain focused on the breath and let the journey begin